I'm delighted now to be joined by Nadia Swarovski, member of the Swarovski Executive Board. And of course, the brand is so known, I don't really need to introduce it, uh, Nadia, because everybody knows what it is and what it stands for. Talk to me a little bit about business. I mean, you've really led the change for Swarovski in becoming higher end, more luxury. Where are you doing well and what can you do better? You know, I have to say, first of all, so thank you for having me here. It's wonderful to be here. It's um, now the fourth year that Swarovski is participating in this forum, and it's so important to be here and to hear from the change makers and really the, the heads of state what's going on in the world, which um, certainly has influenced our strategy. And uh, this year is our 125th year anniversary, and you know we have the continuous effort to obviously create a product that's relevant to the consumers. And what we've really focused on, in particular since being here in Davos, is sustainability, creating a product that is sustainable, uh, really. Um, making sure that we have processes in place that um, support people and planet. So in terms of our manufacturing, we have certainly eliminated harmful substances like lead and cadmium. Um, we've been very excited last year to have been recertified by the Responsible Jewelry Council again um, for our manufacturing. and. In terms of our product, we really um, have focused uh, last year and this year and going forward on more cause-related marketing and uh -huh. cause-related products. So we have collections, jewelry collections coming out that um, support um, the uh, UN SDGs, yep. uh, life above land, life below water. We are teaming up with the Nature Conservancy. Proceeds of those collections, which are nature-inspired, go to the Nature Conservancy. We've also teamed up with the movie Wonder Woman, which really to us stands for female empowerment. So female equality is a tremendous topic for Swarovski. How difficult is it, and when you look at your supply chain, so how difficult is it to, to actually be sure that everything is sustainable? How much extra work have you needed to do to, to ensure that being the case? It's a lot of extra work, and I have to say, as a family-owned company, um, uh, that's been a tremendous value for us. Uh -huh. It's uh, time, effort, money that has been very worthwhile for us to invest. It, we want to make sure that our customers can rely and trust in us, and we certainly want to make sure that our processes are correct. So does it change the industry as a whole? Have you had competitors or business partners that said actually sustainability is the right way and even if it's more expensive to do, this is the right thing? Absolutely. I think it has changed the industry. We've certainly tried to lead with a very good example. We are one of the biggest crystal manufacturers in the world, one of the biggest um, fashion jewelry manufacturers. Because it's a family business, it is very important for us to have those correct ways of producing. Although it might be more expensive to us, it is the right way forward. And and that right way forward is um, inevitable for the future yeah. for other uh, other countries and companies. So why are you doing this? It, it, does it make a difference with the end consumer? Absolutely. It makes a because difference this is to what us. Want. It's yeah. our value and certainly makes a difference to the end consumer. And, you know, we come from the Tyrolean Alps. It looks exactly like this. We're just a few mountains away. And that certainly is the environment that we wanted to preserve. You know, we wanted to manufacture while still not polluting the environment and protecting the people uh, that live there. Um, amongst the cl client, I mean, you know, if you look at your clients, if you look at your customers, is there also a generational shift? Absolutely. Absolutely. We see a huge generational shift. The young generation is so tuned in. They're so knowledgeable about really the impacts of manufacturing on the environment. And they really um, ensure that companies and brands are adhering to the right methods of producing things. And I think that's good. You know, it's really um, the, the right ways forward do exist. Um, they often are not a requirement, yeah. a governmental requirement. So it's really an, its own initiative. And I think it's really great that the younger generation puts that pressure on companies and brands. 